What's up you guys? It's Cody coming back at you with another video. The truck is back from the paint shop with a freshly painted front end. I don't know if you guys can really tell how good and clean this looks, but it's like a brand new truck. It's an 18 year old, 18 year old truck, 2001. Brand new painted front end, looks so clean. Again, eventually the whole truck's gonna be, be repainted, but for now we just did the front end. And unfortunately, maybe that was a mistake. I got the front end painted, if you guys remember my last video, mainly because in the past, this fender was fading and the clear coat was coming off and uh, some paint was starting to come off on the top right here where it meets the hood. And the rest of the truck looked pretty good and this fender was just an eyesore and I didn't like it. So I went, I took it in and I got it repainted. The fender looked great after that, but unfortunately you could see a little bit of a difference in color between the fender and the hood because the fender was brand new and the hood was old. So I took it in to get that fixed and they repainted it and uh, not sure if you guys can really tell there, but there's still a bit of difference in color there. I'm not too happy with it. Now, the guy at the paint shop called me and told me before I picked up the truck that this had happened. He told me he was not happy with it, that he would fix it for free. However, because this is my only vehicle and I had a rental car, he let me know that I can go ahead and take the truck and bring it back another time to get it fixed when I have time. So I didn't have to get the rental car for over the weekend because I picked it up on Friday. So I would have had to have the rental car uh, Saturday, Sunday. He would fix it Monday. I could pick it up Monday. And I thought, you know, if the truck doesn't look that bad for now, I'd rather take it and find out another time to take it back in to get it fixed because I didn't want to have to pay for that rental car over the weekend because I don't need it over the weekend, to be honest with you. So that's that. Other than that, I mean, this looks great. Um, I don't think, I mean, you can't tell right here, this is brand new paint and this is old and you really can't tell a difference. It looks great. Down here at the bottom, you could tell a little bit because this is brand new and this is a little old and faded, but I still don't think it looks that bad. I mean, standing right here, you really can't tell. Look at this. Truck looks great. So going back to that problem, and again, I'm not blaming the paint shop. It's kind of my fault. I gave them kind of like a pressured feeling because I had a rental car I wanted the truck back as soon as possible so I could give the rental car back so on Friday he was like I know you need your truck back get your truck back and bring it back so you could fix it later if I had more time if I had another vehicle and could have left the truck there he would have fixed it on the spot so I'm not blaming the paint shop so what they're gonna do to fix it is as you can see this is a little more uh, like a beige it has a little more of a beige color and the hood is super white so they're gonna in one day when I take the truck back, they'll be able to fix it. And one day they'll take the hood and the other fender back off and spray it with a layer of a little more beige in the white. So it'll match this. And then again, this pretty much color matches almost perfectly too. You can't tell a difference right there. So they'll fix the hood and the fender. That'll blend in. This will blend in. That'll be all brand new and this will blend in. It blends in right now too, but the beige on the other side blends, so it'll blend in good over here. So uh, I, I'm a little upset, you guys. To be honest, I can't really tell you the level of stress I'm feeling about getting this thing back in to get it fixed. And it's just so hard with the work, the job that I have and my work schedule because there isn't a work schedule. Every job, every day is real day to day. You get sent to a job and you have to stay till it's done. You never know what time you're gonna get off. So it's hard to like, make sure I'm gonna be able to pick up the truck after work before the paint shop closes or get the rental car back in in time. It's a real big stress. So I'm gonna get this fixed as soon as possible, but I'm gonna to have to figure out how I'm gonna be able to get this in. I even, I even considered, even though it's only a day, I even considered letting them keep it for a while, figuring something out getting the whole truck repainted. But again, it, it, it's not really the money. It's not that I can't afford to get the truck repainted. It's that I, I don't know how I'd be able to go two weeks without the truck. I have to drive to different job sites. So that's going to be something I have to figure out, but I'm going to get it taken care of. The paint shop's going to fix it for free. Anyways, here's the truck from this side. I think it looks pretty clean. You can't really tell a difference. The fender to the hood looks great. Let's check out the other side. So this is the other side. Again, I don't think you could tell over here either. So really when it comes down to it, I think the truck looks great. From the sides, it looks good. You can't really tell a difference. Since I'm doing the video now, I can't really tell. We'll see when I watch it, but see, I don't know if you guys can really tell. I think I could see it. There's a bit of difference in color there, but I don't think it looks terrible. It looks good for now. The front end is completely brand new paint. Look at this hood. 
I mean, this is this is a brand new paint job on an 18 year old truck. I actually had a dent somewhere. I think it was right here. And uh, they actually popped that dent out for me too. I didn't even know if they were gonna be able to do it. It was about a golf ball sized dent. It might, I don't remember which side it was on, but it's not there now. So they did a good job all in all. The paint matches perfectly here, doors, everything looks good. So that's that for the paint job. Now you guys have the update. I got the truck back. I'm driving it again every day. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Sorry about the sirens. But that's it for the paint job. Let me talk to you guys about some other stuff. Two things I kind of wanted to talk to you guys about. One was, this kind of really was like a big eye opener for me. Even though I already knew that there was an issue with, uh, in my heart, with having one truck, I really didn't like having only one vehicle because it's hard to get this thing in for work or upgrades or anything because then I have to either get a rental or you know take a get a ride everywhere or whatever it is so i already had a problem with having one vehicle and now this has really made me like damn I, I really need another vehicle and i used to always have two vehicles at a time and i'm only down to the one right now so this kind of like kind of motivated me to really get that corvette that i've talked to you guys about and by having that it not only is it my dream car and i can make more content on it and do more upgrades on that and i would have my dream truck and my dream car i'd be happy but also it'd be a lot easier for me to say drop this thing off at the paint shop for a week or two or however long it takes to get whatever work i need done or a mechanic shop or whatever it is because it's real hard to do that right now so i'm really considering you know like really really buying a corvette i mean i look at them and like oh i want that one but should i do it this is really motivating me but I, again, I, I change my mind on a daily basis, so we'll, we'll see what really happens. But that's where I'm at right now on that. The other thing I want to talk to you guys about is in my last video, I mentioned that I kind of got an idea for like a personal brand. It's, a, it's just a saying, it's a little saying, and I would sell merchandise on it. And again, not really to try and make a lot of profit, but just to kind of get my name out there, uh, maybe do some giveaways with it. I can give away some subscribers, some of my merchandise and stuff like that. Just some fun thing to do, another way to kind of get my brand and name out there for fun, uh, connect with you guys more, stuff like that. So I started looking into trademarking that uh, saying and I did a search and I couldn't really find any other like sayings like that. So I couldn't find anything that was trademarked. So I think I could get it trademarked and stuff like that. And I filled out the application for the trademark and I'm not going to lie, at the end, I wasn't sure how much it was going to cost. I filled out the whole application, it was all ready to go. And then it went time to pay and it was like almost $500. And I was like, damn, like it's a risk, you know, I don't even have the merchandise made. I don't have a website. I don't even know who would buy it. You know, I don't want to say the name because it's still not trademarked. but you know will people like it stuff like that and that's the risk of anything you take when you want to try and start your own business you're gonna to have to put a lot of capital down you're gonna to have to invest your money and take the risk you know i still need to buy the merchandise i need to make a website you know just like again like i said like starting any business you have to take that risk so it's something i want to do i just uh didn't jump on it right away because i wanted to think about it a little more 500 is a lot to spend for a trademark alone not including the merchandise and i have no idea how to build a website you know will my will my brand work will people like it blah 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 all i'm saying is you know i'm in the process of really thinking about it i have my idea i've already kind of figured out you know where i can get the hats and shirts and made and stuff like that so we're thinking about that hopefully it works you know but anyways, I don't want to keep you guys too long. There's an update on the truck. It's back. I really think it looks good for right now. Yes, I need to get it fixed and I will and they're going to do it for free and hopefully it's soon. But in the meantime, the truck looks great. The whole front end's completely repainted and really I don't think anybody will see any weirdness or tell a difference. Like I'm, I'm showing you guys so you see it. But in person, it looks good. I don't think anybody else will notice. So... We're gonna continue to do content for uh, you know for now on whatever's next. I'm gonna start doing some other stuff. Uh, thinking about doing more exhaust stuff, but there it is. Paint job looks great. It is lifetime warranted. Eventually, the whole truck will be repainted. It's gonna be a 7.3 with a completely brand new paint job. It's gonna look great. Just gotta figure out how to get the time to get it done. So that's that. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe. We got tons of new videos coming out all the time.